To be honest, ChatDev is the first AI agent that actually produced complete code for me. So ChatDev is a communicative agent for software development. It's like running a software company. You've got CEO, you've got CFO, you've got CPO, chief product officer, code testers, code reviewers, software developers. And in this video, you're going to learn every single step on how to run ChatDev on your local computer. As a disclaimer, you would need OpenAI key. That's something that you need to keep in mind. The first step is for us to clone ChatDev repository. Once you have successfully cloned the repository, then you have to enter the repository, like enter the ChatDev folder and then start creating a virtual environment. Before you create a, I mean, virtual environment is not mandatory, but at least it's good for you to keep your environment intact. Check into the folder, you will understand how the folder structure is. This is just to make sure, first of all, you have cloned it properly, but also to understand how the folder structure looks like currently. There are certain important folders, but that we'll get into later. For the first thing that, as I said, you need to create a virtual environment before you install the requirements or TXT. Let's create a virtual environment. You can either create a Conda environment or you can create a virtual environment. Whatever you want to do, you can basically do that. And once you have that ready, then the next thing that you need to do is you need to start creating or start installing the requirements ready. So clone the chat dev GitHub repository, then enter into the folder, create the virtual environment, activate the virtual environment. And the next step is for to install the requirements or TXT. It, it has got a lot of dependencies. So make sure that, you know, you don't mess up with your environment. So install the requirements or TXT. Once you start installing the requirement or TXT with pip 3 dash r requirements.txt then you are ready to go to the next stage At this point we have installed all the libraries and also make sure you have the open ai key added as an environment variable for this particular session so then once you have done that now it's very simple and straightforward to run it use run.py and then specify the task in this particular case build a pomodoro timer and then you need to just simply say what is the name of the project in this case one lc and then you would start seeing the conversation between chief product officer and everybody else like it's like a very long conversation it goes on to the details once the open a api is successfully hit then you would start seeing how many tokens have been used and all the details around it and you can also see in real time what kind of conversation they have what is the stage of the product and Right now you are seeing this everything on terminal, but very quickly I'm going to show you how to do the same with a very nice graphical user interface where you can see the different discussions happening between different agents. For example, now you can see the model that, that have been selected and what is that CTO saying? What is the software tester saying? What is the programmer saying? But like I said, like there is a very nice, beautiful way to visualize this. Let's understand how to do that. The way you can visualize it is very simple. There is a folder called online underscore log and that requires Flask as an install requirement. From that online underscore log, just run the app.py file and you would actually see this interface that has two components. One is the chat chain visualizer. The second one is live discussion that is happening between all the agents that you have got. So right now, as you know that we have successfully built the Pomodoro timer because that's why you have got the user manual in itself. You can also realize that the project has been completed by going to the terminal because the process is done. Then the next step is for you to run the software, enter into the Veros and then see the name of the project that you gave. And if you have run it multiple times, then check the latest timestamp. So when you go to the latest timestamp, you can actually see the project in itself. And once you enter into the folder, you would see what is the file with which you have to run. Main.py is the for the Python project, but otherwise you can also check the manual that actually the software team has created, the agents, the chat diff. Once you run Python 3 main.py, because in this particular case, it is a Python project, then the Python file would be run and then you will get to see the Python interface. Like for example, if it is a, if it is a simple Python CLI, then you would see the CLI. If it is something else, you would see something else. In this particular case, it's a GUI, the graphical user interface, which is a simple Pomodoro timer and I can start the timer and it stops. No errors, no issues. Literally, we wanted a simple Pomodoro timer and we have literally got a simple Pomodoro timer in Python that just simply works. No, no strings attached, just simply works even with the GPT 3.5 Turbo API. I don't have GPT 4 access and I wanted to check this and it works completely, absolutely fine. Let's try to build one more project now. This time, let's try to build a very simple hangman, but also monitor what the chat devs are talking. So we are going to see the live reply of what they are doing or live replay of what they're doing. So what we basically want is we want a simple 
uh, hangman application as you can see here the CTO, ceo is talking about building a very simple hangman um, and i did not specify what what i want like in hangman it's i just said simple so at the end of the project you would notice that it is going to be very simple intact so this is the first message starting from the ceo and you know you can see the cto's response who is going to decide on the technology and then you would see this conversation going back and forth with different role playing happening so they've decided at this point python is a programming language in which we are going to do and they're also very quite uh, very strict or uh, very diligent about documenting everything and also now they what i mean they here is this ai agents not the chat dev developers so these ai agents are quite diligent about creating the right document and they go component by component as you can see now they're talking about the main file that's what they're going to start with but then they are going to go ahead with the different sections of this particular game in itself where they will say that okay now main is finished i have to do this i have to do this i have to do this and you can scroll through this chat replay to understand what is that component that they are building now and what are the components that they should start building and before ending they're going to start giving it to the chat tester or a the software tester who would actually test all these things. As you can see, they have started building these classes, which is a strong object oriented culture. And they, with the object oriented culture, they are also identifying what is the role. Like right now, programmer is working. Who is programmer talking to? Programmer is going to talk to code reviewer. So the code reviewer is going to create, come up with these uh, test cases and review this thing. And the code reviewer is going to, uh, not necessarily test cases, the review cases, the code reviewer is checking the code that has been written by the software engineer and it just goes back and forth, back and forth. It's very, very interesting to see because that's obviously what happens in a real software environment. I mean, people don't work in silos, people work as teams and then they talk to each other, they give comments to each other. And as you can see, even in this live replay, you would see these agents are uh, different roles, different roles are there. Like for example, here it is programmer and code reviewer they would exchange information between them at every single stage. And it's quite fascinating to see. I think like this has been what I've been thinking for quite a while that you don't or you cannot just build one agent and expect it to do everything. You need like a family of agents. That is exactly what chat dev is like. It's a bunch of agents working together, talking to each other, trying to solve a problem, commenting, feedbacking and asking them to fix something. And uh, that is something that you would see more evidently as we go through this or also when you start trying different projects, you would notice this. As you can see on the screen, there was a feedback to create the requirements.txt. Now the requirements.txt has been created. Now there is a new role called counselor and I'm not very sure like what the counselor does it. But now once again, it has come back to C CEO for reflection and the CEO is going through this and understanding and saying, okay, let's, let's add the requirements.txt, which also gets added to the documentation, like the final manual, user manual that somebody who doesn't even know anything about this project can use it. So after all these things, you will get a very simple user manual that looks like this, explaining you all the details on how you can run or how you can play. So for example, it says run the main.py file with Python main.py and that game window will open and then you can start doing this thing. It not, doesn't necessarily show you an animation here, but the way simple way you can run this thing is you can go ahead and then say, uh, enter into the particular folder in the first place. Once you, once you enter into it, select the right folder. Just go inside the warehouse, select the right folder. And once you go there, you can start running the file. So all you have to do is Python main.py. And once you do main.py, it is going to create the hangman. In this case, once again, there is no animation, but it still works. I'm going to guess the word. And um, it is quite honestly like uh, disappointing for me, like how much time it took for me to guess this word. And this is a meta word. At this point, if you're watching this video, I would strongly encourage you to guess this and comment in this if you have managed to guess it. Like before I ran out of all the alphabets on my keyboard, if you have guessed it, comment it, I would definitely want to see how many people managed to guess this. And I felt actually dumb while recording this video that how stupid I am that I did not guess the word, which is, quite meta about what we are doing in this place. So I'm going to just pause this video, guess it, comment it, let me know what is it. If you're not as lame as me, you would have guessed it. It's game, G-A-M-E. The only thing is it didn't close the game properly. It didn't give me a score, but again, I asked for a simple application. It's a very simple GUI, graphical user interface for me to play Hangman. Quite amazing, quite impressive. Like I said, this is a first agent that just simply ran, like no strings attached. 
I didn't run out of tokens even when I had like only 3.5. I didn't run out of uh, like the chat limit that you usually get with 3.5. It's quite amazing. You can go ahead, check the project. You can open the code and even the code is like quite really good. Like you cannot, I, honestly, I cannot believe it's AI and you can go ahead and then visualize the chain. Like you can see what all things happened, what the phase, what are the different discussions that happened. And it is very interesting to see how this kind of like went through and all these things using GPT 3.5 turbo and the quality of code, everything makes me believe that this is quite amazing. The fact that you can run a software development team or you can run a software development company just using AI is um, it's unbelievable. It's one open AI 3.5 turbo and it plays the role of CEO, CTO, product officer, coder, code reviewer, like programmer, software tester, everything all together. It has been like it has the example show it can build a lot more than what we have done it in this exercise. But I wanted to make a clear step by step tutorial for you to run this on your own. Recapping everything, clone the repository, enter into the repo chat dev, create a virtual environment, activate the virtual environment. Make sure you have entered the open AI key as an environmental variable. Once you have done this thing, all you have to do this run the file, run the run um, file. If you have want to enable the you know, live replay, then go to online log and enable it, but not then run the file with the task name. Once you have run the file with the task name, then you can start seeing the magic, then enter inside the warehouse, go inside the project, run the file, whatever the manual has given. I hope this was helpful to you in running chat dev, a true software company, just purely run by AI agents. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, kudos to the developers for making an amazing project. See you in another video. Happy prompting.